some work on already in the rainbow. Now, as you recall about Dorothy, Dorothy's world was turned upside down when a cyclone blew through and took her house and dumped it in the middle of Munchkin land in Technicolors, as you recall. And after a brief altercation with some witches, which we're not going to get into, she started down the yellow brick road. So I'm going to have to have you, Randy. Thank you. And she started down the yellow brick road to get to Oz and the Emerald City. Because Dorothy believed that if she could get to Oz, Oz held the promise of something better. Right? Now, I do think we need to pause just one moment, Randy to acknowledge that Dorothy went on an across-country hike for several days in high-heeled, gold-sparkly red pumps. I just think it needs to be said. Sean and I were just talking. It's all in shoes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Now, Dorothy also has some traveling companions. Remember the Dorothy's traveling companions? Mm -hmm. So we're going to see how well you remember this. Now you will recall that the traveling companions felt like they were missing something, right? Okay, so I'm going to, I have some little munchkin-sized books. So I'm going to ask you what it was that everyone was missing. And whoever I hear shut it up first gets a little munchkin-sized book here. Brains. So the scarecrow. Brains. Brains. Randy? Tin Man. Hot. Hot. Oh, you were, you were ready for that one. Okay, so the last one is Lion. But what you really meant to say, remember? 